Hello everyone, welcome. Today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Zero Base One light stick and I am so excited. This is the first light stick that I've owned that isn't like a traditional light stick. It's like a light ring, kind of like Itsy's is and I'm very very excited. I was hoping that this would arrive before October ended because it shipped out really really fast but it got stuck in LA Customs for like days <laughs> and I was just being so impatient because I wanted to unbox it so bad because I'm so curious about like the light stick and like its structure and like its weight and its holding and uh, it finally arrived. It was finally released from Customs and it's here. Um, also, I had the craziest experience trying to buy this thing, <laughs> like so unhinged basically. I waited in a queue to even get onto the With Mew website for an hour and a half <laughs> to even go to the product listing page and to purchase it. An hour and a half. It was crazy. I have never been in a queue like that other than like Ticketmaster and it was wild. So what happened was I logged on to the With Mew website like nine minutes after the light stick had dropped and I reached the screen that was basically like telling me the place I was in line and I was like the 32,000th person in line. Nine minutes after this went live and I was like, what is happening? So I debated whether or not I should sit in this line or if I should like just log off for the night and you know, try and buy it the next day. But I was scared like how much of a pre-order this pre-order was. And if there was a cutoff, I was worried I may not be able to get it until like much, much later. So I basically just had my phone on running in the background. I finally <laughs> was able to access the website, get to the product listing page and buy one and check out. But it was wild. That like level of hype and attention for a light stick was insane. Like when I say that Zero Base One has a chokehold on everyone in K-pop right now, they truly have a chokehold <laughs> on everyone in K-pop right now. So that's also why I'm very lucky to even have this because I'm pretty sure pre-orders like closed slash sold out pretty quickly after the first day. So I'm glad I stuck through and waited in that queue, but that was just wild, <laughs> just wild. But enough of that, let's get into the unboxing. So it did come with a full set of light stick uh, PCs, which I was super excited about. I think light stick PCs are really, really adorable. So let's go through and look at these. These are also another reason why I wanted to pre-order the light stick because I wasn't sure if and when they were going to restock the light stick, whether or not that these were going to be included. And I really, really wanted the light stick PCs, so that's also why I decided to wait in that crazy long queue. But here is what they look like. And there's the back with all the members' names on it. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I really like Gunna because I like that he like is like in the light stick ring. <laughs> that one's really cute. Ah, so cute. Very excited for those. I love light stick PCs. Like I said, I think that every group, if they release a light stick, should have a light stick PC because I don't know. It's like it feels special somehow. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into the actual light stick box now. So she is very thick. She is quite large. I mean, I knew it was probably going to be bigger because the shape of the light stick is like unconventional. So of course it has to be thick, but I was a little bit, still a little bit shocked as to like how wide it is, but at least it comes in this like super nice box. It's almost like a shoe box a little bit. So we'll open this up. 
There she is. Wow. Okay, wait. Let me just look at the instructions really quick. I don't think this has, like, an app. It's just um the light stick buttons and stuff, I think. Let's see. Yeah, so there are five different power modes, and it also takes three AAA batteries. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's take her out. Oh, so this is one of the things I was really curious about was kind of like the weight of it and like kind of how it would feel holding it because like I said, it's not like a typical light stick. It's a ring so the weight isn't as distributed as evenly and also it's not like it sees either where it's just like a singular ring. It has this big rose kind of like diamond thing on the top and I will say it is pretty like top heavy because of like the structure here so it is it is like a different feeling like the ring part down here is really light obviously and then it just feels like top heavy <laughs> a little bit so it comes with a little light stick strap like that Here is the light stick details a little bit higher up. So here is where the button is, kind of on the right side. And then the little rose diamond kind of thing. And honestly, I feel so dumb because I was like, I understand like this like makes a face, but I was like, it seems so random. Like why? why and then i realized it's literally like zero base one <laughs> like it literally is zero base one i'm still pretty new to like the zero base one fandom so like i don't know if that was obvious but like feels so random i get it now it's zero base one i think this is kind of cute i did though think from the teaser video i thought this was gonna be like the face was gonna be like a screen and you could switch through different faces and like emotions wasn't that like in the trailer like it was showing a couple different like emotes or whatever so i'm surprised that it's actually just like a little i don't even know what you would even call it like it's just like a permanent face because like i said i thought it was going to be a screen when i saw the teaser video and you would be able to switch through the different faces like the different faces were going to be like representations for like the different members or something but it's not so anyway Let's put in the batteries. Okay, batteries are in. For warning, going ahead, there's probably going to be flashing lights, bright, you know, chaotic sequences. So, fair warn, you've been warned. So, let's go ahead and turn it on. Woo! I'll turn it on with, the, with my lights on, and then we'll turn it off and see what it looks like. Um, also, wait, where did the instructions go? Alright, so yeah, so when I turned it on, I held it down for like two seconds. It was like a kind of a long hold press turn on. But this is the white mode. And we have blue. This is breezing. blooming I like that it switches between the white and the blue and then rotation oh rotation off oh, okay so technically there's only four settings there's the white the blue the breezing the blooming and then rotation off <laughs> so let me turn it back on again and we'll turn out the lights all right, so here it is with the lights off. It's definitely not like the brightest light stick uh, I've ever seen, but it does emit off like quite a nice little little light. I also think because just the structure of it, it doesn't provide a lot of light outwards. It's not like a typical globe light stick, but I do think it gives off a pretty nice light. Like I think it could be pretty. But yeah, here is white blue. The blue is like really deep and dark. <laughs> I like that. Here is breezing.
and Blooming. The Blooming one is fun. I think maybe that's my favorite other than just the solid settings. And then this is Rotation Off. I feel like they should have just made that like a setting in itself. Like I kind of liked the little rotation, but cool. I do think that this is really cute. Like I said, I think for hold wise, <laughs> I think hold wise, it is like different um, light stick to like hold and handle. Like I said, because it's not like a typical just light stick that you hold the base of. So I do think it feels a little bit weird in that regard. However, I am all for light sticks being a little bit more creative these days. I feel like companies just go the safe route and they just do normal light sticks with a globe on top that has something in it that's related to the group. And while that's fine, I do miss kind of like the crazier, more creative, out of the box light sticks. So I do really enjoy that they tried something new and different so gotta give it to them as far as weight wise i thought it was kind of a lot like when i first took it out of the box but i think you would get used to it like you just kind of have to find your spot where you would hold it but i think this could be really fun at a concert i wish that this was out and like available before kcon because uh when i went to kcon definitely on the second day a lot of people in that audience were there for ZB1 and I think it would have just been so cool to like have the light stakes then but you know production and time and whatever was probably against them but okay let me turn the lights back on <laughs> that was pretty much everything this light stick is pretty straightforward i think if they ever decide to do a second iteration which i don't know if like that's entirely plausible because this is just a temporary group for now maybe <laughs> but you know this this is a group with limited time so i don't know if there would ever be a chance to have a secondary version but i think if they were to i think it might be fun to actually make the idea of the zero base one or the face or the emoticon or whatever actually be a screen like i mentioned and have it switch through different faces and different emotions and different things you could even have the logo on here i think that would be really really fun or you can make the face plate um like customizable like being able to switch out different plates um to put inside i think that would be really fun too i kind of wonder if you could open this i i'm sure you can i don't know how you would but i think it would be fun um if you could open up this and put something inside like glitter or a figurine or something um if you wanted to customize your light stick i do really like the design i like that it's different it's unique it's creative i also think i was telling my friend um this but it kind of reminds me of like a mario world like tool or weapon that like you would get in a mario video game <laughs> like this is like something that you would pick up and then like you would like hit like different enemies and stuff i don't know it kind of has that like mario like cartoon vibe to it to me for some reason in addition to it being like a little like ring but yeah overall super super happy super excited to have this i don't quite know like in terms of storing how i'm really going to like put this on my shelf i kind of wish that like these companies who put out light sticks would also like put out a stand to go with it or like a base so you could have an easy way to display your light sticks i don't know i don't really know how you would display this like you'd almost need some kind of base that you could just like slot this into um anyway i'm just kind of blabbling at this point but i really enjoyed this light stick i think it's super fun it's super creative it is a little bit top heavy but i don't think that's like a big deal light sticks can be top heavy regardless it's just a different shape so you kind of notice it a little bit more i do think it could be a nice arm workout <laughs> at a concert i hope i get the chance to use this at a concert if they ever come back to america what their timeline is right now don't know but i am super happy to have this in the meantime but anyway that's gonna be it for me today i really hope you enjoyed i did pre-order the new melting point album so expect an unboxing of that whenever it comes in 
the actual album is actually released on my birthday, which was uh, a fun little surprise. So I'm I'm claiming it as a birthday gift to myself. Thank you, ZB1. <laughs> but anyway, I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!